morning students today in maths we are going to start a new lesson lesson number 9 decimal fractions part 1 good morning students today in maths we are going to start lesson number 9 decimal fractions now we will understand what is a decimal fraction a fraction whose denominator is 10 100 or 1000 is called a decimal fraction but before understanding we will understand what is a fraction a fraction where there is a numerator and a denominator now numerator means the top number in a fraction and the denominator means the below number in a fraction so this together numerator and denominator makes a fraction now in decimal fraction when in the place of denominator we have 10 100 and 1000 so such fractions is called a decimal fraction now we will come to the topic decimal point in decimal point to show any place of a fraction we use a decimal point when writing a particular number we use dot after the last digit of the whole part of the number so the decimal point is indicated by a small dot and this whole part is called as a decimal point for example 6 upon 10 now my number over here is 6 but in the denominator i have 10 now i have to show the place of the number 6 so this is written as 0.6 now why 0.6 because i have only one 10 only one zero i have so i have to put a decimal point before one digit second example 5 upon 10 now here also in the denominator i have 10 that means i have one zero so i will write as 0.5 so after the decimal point i am going to write the number 5 only one number because i have only one ten third example now i have here a mixed fraction okay 7 8 upon 10 which is written as in decimal point 7.8 now i have one ten part in order to show the place i am going to put the decimal point before the number 8 before one number so i get 7.8 problem set 36 write the following mixed fraction in decimal form and read them aloud now we have to write a decimal form of the mixed fraction and we have to read them aloud now what is a mixed fraction now if you take the first example it is 3 9 upon 10 now in mixed fraction when you have one whole number and a complete fraction it is called a mixed fraction now in this example 3 is a whole number and 9 upon 10 is a fraction so this is called as a mixed fraction now this mixed fraction we have to write in the decimal form now in the decimal form we are going to take the numbers 3 and 9 so i have 1 ten that means here i have to put the decimal point before one number okay so i will put the decimal point before the digit 9 this is the decimal form and we read this decimal form as 3.9 second example 
वन फोर अपॉन टेन इन डेसिमल फॉर्म वी विल राइट वन एंड फोर नाउ आई हैव वन टेन सो आई विल पुट द डेसिमल पॉइंट बिफोर द डिजिट फोर सो आई विल रीड दिस नंबर एज वन पॉइंट फोर नाउ टेक द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल इन द थर्ड एग्जाम्पल द मिक्स फ्रैक्शन इज फाइव थ्री अपॉन टेन नाउ I am going to write the number five and three. Now I have one ten. I have one zero. So I am going to place the decimal point before one digit. That is, I will place the decimal point before three. Now I read this number as five point three. Now our next example. Now eight upon ten. Now I have only one number over here that is eight, and I have one ten. I have to place the decimal point before one number. So what I am going to do over here? I will place your zero. and before one digit that is before 8 i will put a decimal point so i will read this number as 0.8 next number that is 7 upon 10 Now, I am going to write this seven digit. Now I have only one digit and one ten. So what I am going to write, I will put zero over here. As I have one ten, one zero, I will place the decimal point before one digit. That is before seven. Now I will write zero. Point seven. So we read this mixed fraction as zero point seven in decimal form and read aloud. First number is nine one upon ten. We will write this mixed fraction in decimal form. So here the two numbers are nine and one. Okay. so the whole number we will write before the decimal point and the fraction number we will write 1 now this is 10 in the denominator that means i have 10 so i will place the decimal point before one digit that is before one i am going to place the decimal point i read this as 9.1 Our second number is nine one upon hundred. Now in the denominator I have two zeros. That means I have to place the decimal point before two numbers. Now my whole number is nine. And from the mixed fraction in the numerator I have one. But as I have hundred, that is I have two zeros. I have to place the decimal point before two digit. That means I will put your zero, and before zero I will put decimal point. Yes. So now I have placed the decimal point before zero one. That means two digit. Now I will read this decimal point as decimal form as nine. Point zero one. Third number, that is third mixed fraction, is four fifty three upon hundred. Now I will write this number as. Now I will keep this whole number as it is. Now in the decimal form, that is in the denominator, I have hundred. that means i have two zeros 
so i will place the decimal point before two digit that is this is 1 2 so before that i am going to place the decimal point now i read this decimal form as 4.5 3 I hope you understood this mixed fraction how to write the decimal form the next number is 78 now i will write this number 78 now i don't have any number in the place of whole number so i will place zero now as i have 100 in the denominator I have two zeros. That means I have to place the decimal point before two digit. That is before seven and eight. I will place the decimal point. Now I will read this decimal form as zero point seven eight. Next number is five upon hundred. Now here I don't have any number in the place of whole number, so I will write five as it is. Now I don't have any number in whole number, so I will put zero. Now as I have hundred in the denominator, that means I have to put a decimal point before two digit. So now here I have only one digit, so I have to make it two digit. So now I am going to place the decimal point before two digit. Now there should be a decimal point between a whole number and a fraction. This decimal point separates the whole number and the fraction. It tells you about the place places of the fraction of the numbers. So I read this decimal form as zero point zero five. Understood, students? This is how we write the decimal form and we read them.